Good morning, my peeps. Okay, today we're going to do a dessert. It's going to be a hazelnut cheesecake with ingredients from the dollar store. And we're using this uh, Palermo hazelnut spread that I found at 99 cent, along with two containers of cream cheese, also from nine. In fact, everything here is from 99 cent. Um, I bought some of the little snack pack puddings. I'm going to use one of those instead of using cream. And then um, I've got this graham cracker crust. And my pantry items are some sugar, about two thirds of a cup is how much I'm going to use. And some vanilla. And I happened to find this um, Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli chocolate um, in my pantry. And I'm just going to um, grate some up as a, uh, you know, a garnish on top. So, let's get started. Okay, I have dumped all of my ingredients down in there. The hazelnut um, spread, the cream cheese, the sugar a teaspoon of vanilla extract and the little um, pudding cup and so now we're going to just beat the ever-living crap out of this after we plug it in <laughs> oh yeah 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 and I got it off yeah okay good sometimes Cheryl's just not as bright as she looks okay here we go I'm gonna start off slow I'm going to let that beat for, I don't know, a couple, three minutes. I'm going to scrape down the sides and beat so it. So I am done beating this. It probably beat for about eight minutes or so. Kept scraping down the sides. I tested it. All the sugars incorporated so it's not um, granular tasting. I have a beater that I've set aside for Grant if he wants it. My... My, my graham cracker crust is breaking up, but I guess that's what they do. I've never really used one of these before, so I'm, I'm not tripping because I know whatever goes in there is going to solidify it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that mess into that shell. Okay, so I've, I've uh, scraped it into the shell. I just wanted to just see, see the consistency. It's not, you know, runny at all. It's got a nice, fluffy, spreadable... I would call this probably a perfect cheesecake consistency. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use my spatula and get that all nice and smooth. And then I'm going to take um, a little bit of this chocolate. I'm going to grate it up with a hand grater and then we will garnish the pie. Alrighty, and that's what it looks like. Um, I started to grate this chocolate and it, became, it was too powdery so I just kind of broke it up. And so now I'm just going to Put it on here and I think I'm going to sprinkle it by hand. That'll make more sense. I'll get it, get it a little better. There. Change hands here. There we go. That looks pretty, doesn't it? And you can see that the container, I believe it was about a six ounce container of the hazelnut spread and the two um, tubs of cream cheese. Um, it filled this up beautifully. So now all I have to do is put the lid back on it. I'm going to tighten that up and stick it in the refrigerator. And tonight when I come home to make dinner, we will take it out of the refrigerator and let Grandpa have Oh my it. peeps, I'm back. This is what the pie looks like. It's just lovely. It cuts beautifully. And I have a piece all pulled out on a little dessert plate for Grant to try. Whoa, unless I drop it on the ground. So here we go. Grant's busy on the phone talking to his friend. Well, you don't have to get off the phone, honey. You didn't need to get off the phone. I just wanted you to take a bite and, Ooh, and uh, give me your opinion. And everybody's waiting for the first thumbs down. You're not going to get a thumbs down with chocolate. <laughs> you like it. Yeah. He likes it. 
Mallory, he likes it. He likes it, little Mal. How exciting. Okay, you guys, that's it. Grant's word is he likes it. Absolutely. Thanks for watching.